Psalm 46 God the refuge of his people and the conqueror of the nations. God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, even though the earth is removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, Selah. There is a river whose streams shall make glad to the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is the mist of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just at break of dawn. The nations raged, the kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge, Selah. Come and behold the works of the Lord, who has made desolations in the earth. He makes war cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Psalm 91 Safety of abiding in the presence of God. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day nor of the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look, and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you. No plague, any plague, come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him with long life and satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Psalm 99 Praise to the Lord for his holiness. The Lord reigns. Let the peoples tremble. He dwells between the cherubim. Let the earth be moved. The Lord is great in Zion, and he is high above all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name. He is holy. The king's strength also loves justice. You have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. He is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests, and Samuel was among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them in the cloudy pillar. They kept his testimonies and the ordinance they gave him. You answered them, O Lord, our God. You were to them God who forgives. Though you took vengeance on their deeds, exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy hill. For the Lord our God is holy. Psalm 119 Meditations on the Excellencies of the word of God. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. 
you have commanded us to keep your precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep your statutes, then I would not be ashamed. When I look into all your commandments, I will praise you with uprightness of heart. When I learn your righteous judgment, I will keep your statutes. Oh, do not forsake me utterly. How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word? With my whole heart I have sought you. O oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Your words I have hidden in my heart, that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O oh Lord. Teach me in your statues. With my lips I have declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies, as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and contemplate on your ways. I will delight myself in your statues. I will not forget your word. Deal bountifully with your servant, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your law. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul breaks of longing for your judgments at all times. You rebuke the proud, the cursed, who stray from your commandment. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept your testimonies. Princes also sit and speak against me, but your servant meditates on your statues. Your testimonies also are my delights and my counsellors. My soul clings to the dust. Revive me according to your word. I have declared my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understanding the way of your precepts. So shall I meditate on your wonderful works. My soul melts from heaviness. Strengthen me according to your word. Remove me the way of lying and grant me your law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth. Your judgments I have laid before me. I cling to your testimonies. O oh Lord, do not put me to shame. I will run the course of your commandments, for you shall enlarge my heart. Teach me, O oh Lord, the way of your statutes, and I keep it to the end. Give me understanding and I will keep your law. Indeed, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me walk in the path of your commandment, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies, and not to my convectiveness. Turn away my eyes from looking at worthless things, and revive me in your way. Establish your word to your servant, who is devoted to fearing you. Turn away my reproach, which I dread, for your judgments are good. Behold, I long for your precepts, revive me in your righteousness. Let your mercies come also to me, O Lord. Your salvation according to your word, so shall I have an answer for him who reproaches me. For I trust in your word, and take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth. For I have hoped in your ordinances. So shall I keep your law continually, forever and ever and I will walk at liberty, for I seek your precepts. I will speak of your testimonies also before kings, and will not be ashamed, and I will delight myself in your commandments which I love. My hands also I will lift up to your commandments which I love, and I will meditate on your statues. Remember the word to your servant upon which you have cursed me to hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. The proud have me in great derision, yet I do not turn aside from your law. I remember your judgments of old, O Lord, and I have confronted myself. Indignation has taken hold of me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statues have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and I keep your law. This has become mine, because I have kept your precepts. You are my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep your words. I entreated your favour with my whole heart. 
Be merciful to me according to your word. I thought about my ways and turned my feet to your testimonies. I made haste and did not delay to keep your commandment. The cords of the wicked have bound me, but I have not forgotten your law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks to you because of your righteous judgments. I am a companion of all who fear you and those who keep your precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of your mercy. Teach me your statutes. Dealt well with your servant, O Lord, according to your word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe your commandment. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep your precepts with my whole heart. Their heart is as fat as grease, but I delight in your law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is better to me than a thousand of coins of gold and silver. Your hands have made me a fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in your word. I know, O Lord, that your judgment are right, and that your faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let, I pray, your merciful kindness be for my comfort. According to your word to your servant, let your tender mercies come to me, that I may live. For your law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they treated me wrongfully with falsehood. But I meditate on your precepts. Let those who fear you turn to me, those who know your testimonies. Let my heart be blameless regarding your statutes, that I may not be ashamed. My soul faints for your salvation, but I hope in your word. My eyes fail from searching your word, saying, When will you comfort me? But I have become like wineskin in smoke, yet I do not forget your statutes. How many are the days of your servant? When will you execute judgment on those who persecute me? The proud have dug pits for me, which is not according to your law. All your commandments are faithful. They persecute me wrongfully. Help me. They almost made an end of me on earth, but I did not forsake your precepts. Revive me according to your loving kindness, so that I may keep the testimony of your mouth. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generation. You establish the earth and it abides. They continue this day according to your ordinances, for all are your servants unless your law had been my delight. I would then have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. I am yours, save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked wait for me to be destroyed, but I will consider your testimonies. I have seen the consumption of all perfection, but your commandment is exceedingly broad. Oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all day. You, through your commandment, make me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep your precepts. I have restrained my feet from every evil way that I may keep your word. I have not departed from your judgments, for you yourself have taught me how sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and confirmed that I will keep your righteous judgments I am afflicted very much. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, I pray, the free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me your judgments. My life is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I have not strayed from your precepts. Your testimonies I have taken as a heritage forever, for they are rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes forever to the very end. I hate the double-minded, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. 
Depart from me, you evil doers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according to your word that I may live, and do not let me be ashamed of my hope. Hold me up, and I shall be safe, and I shall observe your statutes continually. You reject all those who stray from your statutes, for their deceit is falsehood. You put away all the wicked of the earth like dross, therefore I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgment. I have done justice and righteousness. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Be shorty for your servant for good. Do not let the proud oppress me. My eyes fail from seeking your salvation and your righteous word. Deal with your servant according to your mercy and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Give me understanding that I may know your testimonies. It is time for you to act, O God, for they have regarded your law as void. Therefore, I love your commandments more than gold, yes, than fine gold. Therefore, all your precepts concerning all things I consider to be right. I hate every false way. Your testimonies are powerful. Therefore, my soul keeps them. The entrance of your words give me light. It gives me understanding to the simple. I opened my mouth and panted, for I longed for your commandments. Look upon me and be merciful to me, as your custom is toward those who love your name. Direct my steps by your word, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Redeem me from the oppression of man, that I may keep your precepts. Make your face shine upon your servant, and teach me your statues. Rivers of water run down from my eyes, because men do not keep your law. Righteous are you, O Lord, and upright are your judgments. Your testimonies which you have commanded are righteous and very faithful. My zeal has consumed me, because of my enemies have forgotten your words. Your word is very pure, therefore your servant loves it. I am small and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your law is truth. Trouble and anguish have overtaken me, yet your commandments are my delight. The righteousness of your testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. I cry out with my whole heart. Hear me, O Lord, I will keep your statutes. I cry out to you, save me, and I will keep your testimonies. I rise before the dawning of the morning and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes are awake through the night watches, that I may meditate on your word. Hear my voice according to your loving kindness. O Lord, revive me according to your justice. They draw near who follow after wickedness. They are far from your law. You are near, O Lord, and all your commandments are truth. Concerning your testimonies, I have known of old that you have founded them forever. Consider my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Revive me according to your word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statues. Great are your tender mercies, O Lord. Revive me according to your judgment. Many are my prosecutors and my enemies, yet I do not turn from your testimonies. I see the treacherous and I am disgusted, because they do not keep your word. Consider how I love your precepts. Revive me, O Lord, according to your loving kindness. The entirety of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous judgments endures forever. Princes persecute me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I rejoice at your word. As one who finds great treasure, I hate and abhor lying, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous judgment. Great peace have those who love your law and nothing causes them to stumble. Lord, I hope for your salvation and I do for your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies and I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and your testimonies for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your word. 
My lips shall utter praise, for you teach me your statutes. My tongue shall speak of your word, for all your commandments are righteousness. Let your hand become my help, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise you, and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Psalm 100 A song of praise for the Lord's faithfulness to his people. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him, and bless his name, for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations.